it's me again, Dawn, always in stitches here in Noblesville, Indiana, and we are in Wool Town. That's what Peter calls it anyway. So I wanted to share with you a little bit about the wool area here in the shop. We have tons of stuff to show you. And one of the things that we have are bundles. I love these bundles. You get a big variety. You don't have to buy yardage. And it's fun because wool applique does take just small little pieces. Look at the fun colors. All different manufacturers, all different kinds of um, packaging. Look at this beautiful pinkish. And you see what I mean about just little bits of color? You don't need to buy big yards of all this. I love it. Here's the little pattern for that pink cushion. We try to have patterns and samples give you ideas. So exciting. But take a look at this. This is kind of our little bright area here. Fun, cheerful patterns. We've got samples for so much. This is Peter's favorite thing in the whole town, right here. In Wool Town, this is it. There's the little the pin kitchen. Love, the Love the lamb. Oh, look at how beautiful this bundle is. No, that's my favorite bundle. Oh, I love that. Love that. Yummy, delicious. We have kits, of course. Patterns. Samples. Look at this beautiful, beautiful uh, pineapple-y pincushion. It's a huge pincushion. That's for some big honking pins right there. What have you got them looking at, Peter? The name of it. Oh, okay. And then I love this pouch. Isn't that the sweetest thing? The pouch comes pre-made. I mean, how much better is that? You put the pennies on and away you go. You've got a one-of-a-kind pouch. Look at this beautiful kit. Makes this nice fall table runner, table topper. Look at the beautiful stitching on that. I can say that because I didn't make this. One of the girls here at the shop made it. I'm not sure who. But look, everything you should possibly need to make the project yourself is right in the kit. We have a great selection of patterns, all seasons. Lots of books. Here's some more cute bundles, pillows. Pillows are a big thing right now. You know, they're putting them in those big bowls sitting them on the coffee table, changing them out for the seasons. Of course, it's never too early to start stitching for Christmas. So we've got our Christmas tree out. We've got tons of accessories. I love to uh, accessorize my projects with little trim, uh, beads, buttons, snaps, anything that adds character to them. I like to give all my wool projects extra texture. So you can do that with all these added accessories. We have a great assortment of needles and, and anything you could possibly need for applique. Hey, I did this, Peter. Look. It's in a book we have here called Christmas Gatherings. And I love that because typically poinsettias are red, you know. You always have a red bird. This has got the dove, peace on earth. I love that. And what's nice about a project like that is it is not just Christmas. It can come out in the first of winter and stay up the whole time get a lot of mileage. Look at how beautiful this autumn. Wouldn't this be wonderful over your bed? Or how about over your fireplace or the TV? It's on an old rusty limb. Well, the limb's not rusty, it's rustic. 
How goofy. Look at this, a little something. A little something. Hey, what about Christmas presents? It's not too early to start those. You can make everybody a pin cushion or a little pillow. Oh, look at this. I didn't even see this. Look, it's a cookie jar with a little sleeve around it. Anybody can buy a jar, but who has a jar with a sleeve? You know what I'm saying? Oh, I love that. Okay, I'm going to have to get that. And again, we have all the fibers you could possibly, possibly want. Hand dyed. This is the DMC. One of everything, please. All hand dyed, six strand floss. Love it. Let's come around here. This is our Valdani. Now we're just beginning to grow our Valdani selection. Give us time, we'll have the whole collection. And then here's our uh, wool by the yard. I think these are fat quarters, fat eighths, excuse me, they're fat eighths. We have wool thread. We have wool on the bolt right over here. Look at this. One of our girls made a jacket from the wool. Isn't that beautiful? Oh my goodness. Look at this beautiful pin she put on there. Okay, I hope she gets my name for Christmas. So I'm going to wish for one of these. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Well, that's probably going to have to be dry cleaned, I would think, don't you, Peter? The wool is already felted. And then over here we have just a little bitty display. Easter's come and gone, but look, it always comes back around. Look at these precious eggs. I love this piece. He's a... One's got a little bell. He's a sheep. And each month, he has a different little saddle that you can pin on him. Isn't that just precious? Isn't that so fun? It's the July blanket. <laughs> That's the July one. And then, look, here's August. Of course, if you didn't want to do all 12 months, August would be for every month because it's this beautiful little house with a blackbird on top. Cute. But wouldn't it be fun to have that and exchange it out every month for the seasons? I love that. He's so cute. Here's a little bunny. Hey, I bet you noticed that I have the same shirt on from last time, from last week. That's because we're filming this on the same Friday. Don't think that I just keep wearing the same shirt over and over, okay? All right. We are getting needle punch in, and uh, we're building that area. So, takes the same kind of fibers, the floss or the Valdani thread. And here's some of the selection of the patterns we have. Okay, you've been to Wool Town. Now just come in and visit us. We'd love to share all of the things that we have. And if you have any questions, we're here to answer your questions. We've got classes going on, so look on the website for those and come back and see us next Wednesday or Thursday or Friday or whenever we're going to be there. We are always at the, on the website. What is that website, Peter? Alwaysinstitches1.com. Yeah, don't forget the one. Alwaysinstitches1.com. Alrighty, see you next week. Bye-bye.